Hey, listen. This to the OT homies. You know me, I just call it how I see it, man. I got a whole lot of influence. I ain't got shit to do with it, man. Bennett ain't in it and all that, man. <laughs> but look, man, when you when you banging somebody up from OT and you connected to that block and you see tension amongst generals and you choose sides and publicly say fuck one of the generals because you done chose sides with the other general, you out of pocket. Dead homies, you all the way out of pocket. Y'all don't fund no wars. Y'all don't send no money in for no funerals. Y'all don't do nothing. Y'all don't put no blicks in your pockets. Y'all don't run no skits. Y'all ain't putting up no points on the board for this set in the motherland. So for you to get up on your Instagram like, oh yeah, f one of the big homies and all that, because you locked in with another big homie. On the dead homies, you got to answer to that. So, six, so, wherever you from when y'all get to doing that put a state in what section y'all from homie because look at the end of the day every in that video it damn near got a dp coming you get what i'm saying shout out zay shout out big you only dead homies they're both my big homies Dude, you niggas don't know what's going on y'all stepping in the middle of some shit that y'all ain't gonna be able to hold so look wherever the f you at disrespecting the gang land and y'all ain't here that's here barely putting in work so on the dead homies you have no room to Man, come on, cuz it's break, not the trick. Don't be late. Mm. So, you heard him, you know, break politicking around this. And, you know, uh, speaking of break, baby, right? Uh, I actually was watching No Jumper earlier, right? They had loose cannon on, and, you know, he was up there. Oh, man, he was saying a whole bunch, you know? Hey, say don't be outside. Where we at? Where we at? Come on, cuz. Yeah. Where we at? We outside. Yeah. Who outside? Yeah. Come on. 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 Come on Shout out money, as a matter of fact. Shout out loose. I would have fucked around and been, been right there. You understand me? But, uh, yeah, man. Uh, like I said, he was up there saying a whole bunch. And he was, you know, he, he y'all remember this, right? Going the way it's going now because of the shit that niggas is saying. Let me tell y'all, y'all got to pray for a couple people, cuz. Let me tell y'all who to pray for, cuz. Pray for no job, cuz. And one more thing. Them niggas, them niggas is not getting no chili over there. No chili. So... Me being smart enough, I was like, okay, that's a good platform. Real quick, I could use. Boom. Talk to Adam. He like, I really don't pay niggas here. I give niggas like a couple hundred dollars a show, whatever. I'm like, all right, cool. I know what I'm going to do. Being, uh, you know, being me, I'm three steps ahead. I'm like, I'm going to get my own show, which I did. And then I ran up bands with my show. You feel me? <laughs> I charge at least, nigga. Twenty five hundred to five uh, to five thousand a show for my uh, guests who come on and shit like that, nigga. None of them, nobody else up there doing that. Not saying niggas is broke. I don't know what uh, certain niggas' pockets is, but niggas ain't getting paid. But I was like, so y'all remember that, right? <laughs> you know, and, and it's crazy because Adam, right? He called himself kind of like interrogating Brick about. Cause that like like so loose right he he brought it to Adam's attention today when he was up there doing his interview right that Brick Baby might have been doing the same thing that DW was doing as far as like uh selling slots and this that and the third right crazy part about it is so he shows Adam the proof and whatever have you but even before that even happened Adam was kind of like skeptical as to whether or not. Brick was doing the same thing DW was doing in the first place, right? Because he, you know, uh, Brick had called DW out for, like, hmm, being a tattletale or, you know what I'm saying, giving up too much information in his standard third. And Adam today was explaining how he didn't know if uh, DW was calling Brick a snitch because of the telling, uh, revealing the information about the shooting incident regarding Dijon or, uh, because DW was kind of like shedding light on other co-hosts doing the same thing as him, right? Adam, look at that, it's stealing, right? And, you know, I ain't gonna lie, man. Anybody with a platform kind of would. Not, not, 
you know, it just depends, right, on some pleasure. Because if you already getting your chicken, right, with a, with your co-host is doing in order to make sure they, so you know, meet their survival needs, wouldn't really be too much of a problem for you. Although you, you know what I'm saying, you might kind of like want to know about it and might want like a slight cut. It is your platform after all. So I understand Adam kind of like looking at it like that, man. I ain't gonna lie, but. Yeah, man, Loose Cannon went up there today and kind of like shed light on Brick Baby possibly doing the same thing. Adam said he going to check Brick, you know what I'm saying? Check his temp and see if that's really what's been going on. Either way, I don't see much coming from it. And I definitely can see Brick denying it, you know? Like, yeah, you my brother, nigga. I would never do that. Like, Brick, come on, nigga. Whoa, whoa, man. Show me, but shit. He might own up to it, though, too. Like, nigga, why you worried about me getting my little chicken and you feeding a nigga bird crumb? Brick on salary, though. You know, they say they say Sharp got the best deal. And I had to be a pocket watcher and all that. You know I'm just saying? That's what they say. They say Sharp got the best. That's why Sharp is kind of like, be always chilling and ready to go. To, like, he wanted to, you feel me? Nigga, always at the forefront of the, of the, of the, of the battle. But, shit. Y'all let me know what y'all think, man, about, uh... Loose cannon man going up there stirring up some. He was he was, you know he he said a lot man. That interview is definitely worth the watch. Um, but yeah man, I thought I'd just come share that with y'all man. That Brick Baby might be possibly facing some scrutiny. Keep your eyes open. You know watch these niggas couple. They supposed to be going live in a second as a matter of fact. And then the you know the show is tomorrow. The, the actual no jumper show with him and Lush. It seemed like since they cut the news out, that's why I'm saying I missed the news a little bit. Now, I ain't no editor, nigga. That shit was cool. It was cool to, you feel me? Nigga come up out of one and see them niggas doing their shit and this, that, and third. It was cool. But y'all niggas let me know what y'all think. But y'all niggas let me know what y'all think. You feel me?